Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here, and today we're going to open up a ton of packages and go through a lot of fun comic books. All right, let's get into these packages. Okay, I got a package here that I just bought a couple days ago. It's one comic book that I paid $19.99 for. All right, let's open this up. All right, so this just feels like a brick inside a manila envelope, which is a very popular way for some people to ship comics. I don't understand it, but I'm just... In you know, shipping this kind of stuff, the corners are always dingy. So I don't know if it's the best way to package it. Let's look inside. So the corners are a little bit ding. Oh, comics look slightly ding there. And that corner uh, looks a little bit rough. All right, we'll see. We'll see how bad it is. Uh, okay, I remember this a lot. It's all right. Most of them are coverless. I bought it for one comic book, so... If the coverless one's got a little dinged up, I'm okay with that. So we have uh, Pep Comics number 134. Would have been cool to have it with its cover. I'll have a coverless for now. Uh, number 132 Pep. So I basically just bought it for that comic book. Although this is a Katie Keene 43 coverless, you still get to enjoy the artwork. So the, you know what? I kind of like the coverless Katie Keens because I know I'll enjoy flipping through it and looking at it. And maybe I'll handle that one more than the actual comic book if I want to read it. Uh, but we have Katie Keen Fashion Book number 21. And this by itself is worth 20 bucks, especially if it's at least like a good plus to a very good minus, maybe. I'm hoping that's kind of the condition. Take a quick look. Uh, okay, we have a little bit of a tear right there. I might be able to fold that out a little bit with a little bit of work. So that might be fixable. Spine's a little bit beat up, but overall, it's not too bad looking. Back's a little bit creased up there. That's might have been from the shipping, honestly, because that board is all creased right there. That's a little bit of a shame, but it's not the end of the world. Pages are a little bit yellowed. Covers a bit more brown. Very nice artwork, though. I like the, what is it called, the fashion book, because there's a lot more splash pages and bigger artwork. That's a really awesome page. I love all the elephants. And, oh, shoot. This one is cut. Okay, so we're missing a page. So this one, this was kind of a bust. Every once in a while when you buy stuff like this, you'll find one with missing pages. So I'm going to have to try to track it down again. It's not the end of the world because it's only 20 bucks, And possibly, you know, maybe I'll get another one down the road that's missing a different page. And I can use it to marry it together. So it's not the end of the world because the cover is actually not too bad. But that's a little bit of shame. Actually, you know what? I might have issue 21 missing a cover. I'll have to see if this is a good candidate to marry together. Okay, not the end of the world. It was only 20 bucks. Okay, this is a package I bought a while ago. I bought it last June. It's uh, one comic book. I paid $72.95. All right, let's open up and see what's inside. Let's pull this out. Just have some old beat up cardboard on the comic books. It looks like it wraps around at least, so that's good. Oh, let me uncut that. Oh, this comic book is awesome. The packaging job is kind of terrible though. I hate when people tape the comic to the board unless it's in its own separate bag. Yeah, so it's not a separate bag. So they just took the comic as it was and they taped it to this board. Which is really annoying because now if I take it apart, I just have all this tape everywhere. Okay. So we have Katie Keen number 18. One of the last ones I need. I think I need two more from 1 to 20. So that's pretty awesome staple. I'm going to take this one out because this one is kind of an awesome cover. And I want to see the condition of this thing. This is a hard one to find. I don't think it gets listed too often. Okay. Let's see, I think it's detached at one staple. Yeah, bottom staple is detached. That's a little bit of a shame, but this is just one of the more desirable covers and it's really hard to get. You know, it's detached at one staple on the bottom, which is a little bit of a shame, but this is one of the harder covers to get from the run. It's a beautiful cover and it's in relatively nice shape. Like it looks nice. It just has a little bit of wear. And I don't see this one ever. You know, this one shows up once every ooh, six months, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. This is, I think, the first time I saw one in kind of okay shape. So I decided to get it. Interior is really nice. Love the artwork. 
always love the splash panels. Very, very cute interior artwork. Love all the fashions and Katie Keen is just a ton of fun to collect. All the paper dolls. I don't feel, usually you can kind of tell if a page is cut because when you're flipping through it, you kind of feel it falling apart and nothing feels like it's falling apart. So just a quick look. I think the interior is really good. Okay, I'm really happy with that. That's an awesome comic book. All right, this is a bag of comics I bought from my local comic book shop, Action City Comic Books. Uh, it's newer releases. I haven't really been to the comic shop in months. So I bought some stuff that was a little bit older and I raided his half off bin and his dollar bin. So let's go through this bag and see what's inside. Uh, the weather's getting nicer and my local comic shop posted that they had Z-Bots, which I really like. I'm going to put those in probably a Pop Fun to Play video. But while I was there, I went to Action City Comic Books to get the robots. I bought 86 of them and I bought a whole pile of newer released comic books. <laughs> I went a little crazy. I just when it gets so cold in the winter, I just don't want to get out of the house. But uh, the weather's starting to warm up a little bit this week. So I felt like I had to buy comic books, especially because of this guy. Saga number 55. I'm so happy Saga's back. I don't have him hold stuff for me because I don't know when I'm going to go. I kind of go when I feel like going. And I don't need to get every issue. I'll eventually get it if I don't pick it up at the comic shop. But I asked him if he had a copy and he had one left. I think it was on hold for someone who just didn't pick it up. So he said I could have it. I'm so happy to get that. Number 55. Awesome. Uh, Wonder Girls number 6. Thought that cover was really nice. Uh, Sweet Paprika number five. This one is censored. I don't think I can show you this one. I will open it up and look at it. I'll just go like that. <laughs> I'll censor it myself. So it's a uh, rated R cover, but a really cute cover. Uh, Sweet Paprika number seven. I thought this cover was absolutely gorgeous. I love just like the translucent look of this purple dress. All the details and everything. Gorgeous cover. Love that. Uh, Sweet Paprika number four. I feel like I have to go and find the rest of the issues that I didn't pick up because I really like these. And Sweet Paprika number one second printing. Gorgeous covers. And then I bought a whole bunch of Invincible Red Sonia. They had Amanda Connor covers. I like her artwork. So we had number three. We had number five. I also really like Red Sonia. So these I decided I really wanted. Uh, number four. Uh, number seven. Gorgeous cover. Those are really nice. And then... Let me put these down. So as you can see, I was buying some stuff that came out a few months ago. I was just buying things that looked cool that I didn't have yet. And I hadn't been to the comic shop in months. So there was some stuff like Harley Quinn. Love the series. These look like they're kind of like the animated series, which I really enjoy. So these are cool. We have number six. We have number five. We have Stormbreakers, the Peach Momoko cover, gorgeous comic book. Love that. Love her artwork. Batgirls number three, awesome cover. Batgirls three, another, uh, I guess one's an A and one's a B maybe. Awesome cover. Batgirls number two, another awesome cover. And Batgirls number one, awesome cover. I need to go get the rest of the covers because I really like that series. I mean, I don't know if the story's good, but the covers are beautiful. And, you know, I'm just a sucker for a nice cover. Uh, more of the Harley Quinn we have number four, number two. The cartoon is a ton of fun. If you haven't watched it, it's fantastic. Number one. Uh, and then we have a David Nakayama. Let's see, The Season to be Freezing, number one. Beautiful cover. I love his artwork so much. It just looks like an anthology with a bunch of stories. But it was a David Nakayama cover, even though I think it was a $10 cover price. Yeah, geez, $10 for new comic books is crazy. But I love the cover, so I had to have it. Uh, Wonder Woman 8th Anniversary Jen Bartel cover. Love her covers. Thought that was gorgeous. Uh, the Bruce Tim cover of Wonder Woman. I love this cover. I really want to get this issue when I saw the preview. I forget when I saw it. Maybe a few weeks ago or a month or two ago. But he had a copy, so I was like, I'm buying that. That is beautiful. We have an Art Germ She-Hulk number one. Love that. Uh, Adam Hughes She-Hulk number one. Love that as well. Uh, Demon Days, number one, Peach Momoko cover. Gorgeous. Uh, this was in his dollar bin. It's the New York Post exclusive Batman hush print. I forget what exactly what it is, but I like picking these up when I see them cheap. I think it has a bit of value. That was cool. For a dollar, I'll pick up any day. Oh, uh, let's see. The Suicide Squad Blaze Black Series, these bigger cover. I love these bigger ones just because it has bigger artwork. 
and is a beautiful Peacemaker and Harley Quinn cover. Loving the Peacemaker show. Love Harley Quinn. So this was a cool must have for me. It looks gorgeous inside. Yeah, that was cool. Now, how much was that one? That was $7. Like, you get this giant awesome artwork for $7 or a few more pages in the thicker one. I think you'll get more value out of that one, honestly. And then one more stack here. I can make a little bit of room for myself. Okay. So, Alvis Dollar Bin, he had a Fist of the North Star number three. I love this 80s manga stuff. So, I'll pick these up for a dollar any day. Classic, classic stuff. And the artwork is beautiful. There's something about the way they did it in the 80s that I almost like more than modern manga. Just either more detail or more drawn or something. I don't know. That was gorgeous. Uh, we have Black Cat number two. Uh, J. Scott Campbell cover for four twenty-five. So a little bit over cover price. Happy to get that though. Uh, Black Cat number three. Another awesome J. Scott Campbell cover. Orcs number five. I really love all the Orcs covers. I actually I haven't really looked inside these yet. I keep picking them up. I probably pick up duplicates because every time I see them, I'm like, that looks nice. Just curious if they're as nice inside as the covers. Oh, they're fine. It's just like a fun cartoony look to it. Oh, this is cool. I got to read this. I really like the way this looks. Oh, yeah. That is gorgeous. Love that. That is awesome. I love when a comic has a cool cover and then you look inside, it's just as cool or nicer. Uh, Orcs number three. Another gorgeous cover. Orcs number four. I feel like one or two of these I might have picked up from him before in his cheaper half price bin. But... I had to get them. And then we have Vampirella, Dark Powers, number four. Uh, J. Lee cover. Love his artwork. Uh, Serial, number five. A Terry Moore comic book. Terry Moore is really cool. Headlooper, number 15. This kind of has like a uh, Adventure Time vibe to it. Just the way it looks. And I love Adventure Time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy that. It looks really cool. And he, This was in his half price bin. So it was three bucks. Uh, Head Looper, uh, I guess it's the same issue, just a different variant. Awesome cover, though. I love that. Yeah, that is awesome. So Universal number one, a Lisner cover. I've been kind of wanting to collect more Lisner stuff. Maybe try to get all the Dawn covers. Uh, Blade Runner number three, Peach Momoko cover. I might have bought this one before. I wasn't 100% sure, but it was half cover price, so $2. I was like, I have to have that. I love Peach Momoko. A Walking Dead Deluxe number 10. I think it's, yeah, it's Arthur Adams cover. Love his artwork, so I figured I'd grab that. Uh, Noctura number three. Trials of Ultraman number two. Do you like Ultraman? Captain Marvel number 27. I just thought that was a beautiful cover. These are all the half price ones. Uh, Champions number eight, a fun video game cover. Half price, I get that. Giga number three. This looked like a fun uh, like mecha comic or something. Not 100% sure, but I like that kind of stuff in general. Orcs number three. I must have grabbed two copies by mistake. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, and, uh, Magic the Gathering blank cover. I thought that was cool. I might try to get an artist to do like a Liliana or something on the cover. That would be really cool. Uh, Orcs number four. Awesome cover. And we only find them when they're dead. Number six. This looks like a really cool cover. And the interior looked like a lot of fun. So yeah, that was a lot of really cool newer comic books. And I had a fun time buying them. And I like supporting the local comic shop. Just keep them in business. It's fun to go buy a pile of comics occasionally from them. Well, this is a couple slabs I bought last year that were on my want list. I'm really excited to show them to you. Really cool stuff. Stuff I really wanted high on my want list. And I'm thrilled that I was able to add them to my collection. All right, let me show you these two slabs. Okay, the first slab I bought cost me $811.25. We have a Aquaman number one. I'm really excited to have this. I was looking for this all last summer. Uh, most vendors, the thing with Aquaman 1 is everything is pretty cheap until you hit like maybe a 6.0, 5.0, 6.0. Like if you get a 4.0, you might be able to get that for $300. A 5.0, this was $800. You go a 6.0, it starts going to like a thousand plus, 7.0, 2,000. Like the price goes through the roof real quick on this one. So I had to find one that I wanted as high a grade possible. Under $1,000. I think the price has come down just a teeny bit since I bought it. But I'm really happy with it. It's a really nice looking 5. There's a little bit of wear right there. A few spine ticks. But overall, the um, whites look pretty good. They're not like yellowed or anything, which makes me happy. Back cover looks pretty good. You know, just a little bit of 
hints of wear. I mean, you can almost press this one because it almost looks like wrinkles in it. So you might even be able to bump it a little bit. But I'm happy. I'm not going to crack it out and press it or anything. I'm just happy having it. I really want to finish putting this set together. So gang number one was important. I think number 11 is the next big one I need to get. And then I'll be close to putting the set together. I probably have another like dozen or so filler issues. But those I should be able to find relatively cheap. Wow, that is a cool comic book. All right, let me put that to the side. The next lab is a comic book I really wanted. I didn't think I was going to be able to afford one. Uh, usually I was seeing like 2.5s go for $1,000. Maybe a 1.5 raw for $500. Uh, but the higher grades, you just don't see this one for sale. And uh, I saw a 6.0 come up. So we have Wilbur number 5. The first appearance of Katie Keene. You guys know I've been collecting Katie Keene for a few years now. So I really, really wanted her first appearance. And a 6.0 is a really nice grade. You just don't see them this high that often. It's a bit yellowed, a bit more than I would like. But there's no major creases or anything. And most of the ones I see are kind of beat up. You know, there's a little bit of a stain there. And it's kind of yellowed a little bit. But overall, it's in pretty decent shape. I am so happy to get this. I uh, What happened was the person listed it for... $1,700 I think or $1,750 and it's just one of those things where I've been seeing it for years at like a thousand for like 2.5 to 3.0s so I was like I thought $1,750 was a pretty decent price considering that for a thousand you get a much lower grade and this is you know from a 3.5 to a 6 is a huge jump but I wasn't ready to spend seventeen hundred dollars. I'm like, ah, I just, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I was, I was resisting, I was resisting, and then I thought, you know what? Let me throw him an offer. If he takes the offer, then I have to buy it, right? So I said, I'll give you fifteen hundred dollars for it. I made a fifteen hundred dollar offer, and the seller took it. <laughs> so it's like fifteen hundred and fifteen dollars with shipping. Amazing. I cannot believe I have the first appearance of Katie Keene in a decent condition like this for the price I paid. Wow, so two of my big wants from the year I knocked out. That is awesome. Okay, so a lot of these packages are going to be older because I was going through all the packages I had opened. I found one box of stuff from the middle of last year. So <laughs> it's going to be, uh, this is going to be fun because I actually don't know what's in half of these. All right, so this is from last July. It's five comic books. I paid $126.45. All right, let's open up this box. box. All right, this box looks like it's packaged pretty well. Lots of bubble wrap inside. And then one brick of comics wedged between all the bubble wrap. And oh, and then the comic books look like they're in top loaders. Awesome. That's actually pretty awesome. That's a lot of tape on all of these. <laughs> so much tape. Not sure if the top loaders can be salvaged. They are covered in so much tape. We have a stack of five Xenoscope comics with some of my favorite comic artists. Uh, okay, so we have this really beautiful Dawn Matigue. Limited edition to 200 pieces. It's a Dorothy Wizard of Oz homage, I guess. Because, you know, she has the red slippers. And we got the Emerald City in the background. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. I love the composition on this one. And I think... I'm not 100% sure what comic it is. Some of these, they just put an awesome cover. And it has nothing to do with the comic book. <laughs> uh, oh, and I just noticed this flying yellow brick. So it's like a futuristic Wizard of Oz. That is awesome. I believe I paid 35 for this one. This one, when I saw the artwork, I was like, I have to have that. I was going into a Dawn McTeague kick back then. And I think getting this comic book and a few other items of hers, uh, I definitely feel like I want to get more of her stuff. And they threw in a print on the back, which is pretty cool. It's like a Jason homage, I guess. All right, I love that. Okay, and then we have Grimm's Tales of Terror number 12. A Sabine Rich cover. You guys know I love Sabine Rich. This one's limited 350 pieces. Beautiful cover. And then we have a Robin Hood Outlaw number 3. Another beautiful Sabine Rich cover. I love this one. The composition, the coloring, the line work. Everything about this cover is gorgeous. Limited to 250 pieces. I believe I paid like $20, $22 each on these two. For a comic book that limited with an awesome cover, I think it's a great price. And then we have the... Ooh... I'm not sure what comic book world 2021 world tour, I guess. Another Sabine Rich cover. Absolutely love her artwork. I'll buy anything that she does. And then uh, Robin Hood Outlaw number five, a David Nakayama cover. Beautiful, beautiful comic book. Uh, I might have bought this one again at New York Comic Con for about the same price because I forgot I had ordered it and I hadn't opened these boxes yet. So these covers, very, very gorgeous comic books. I love them. 
Okay, so this is a box of comics I just bought recently. It says from January 18th, so just a couple weeks ago. It's eight comic books. I paid $85.98. All right, let's open up this box. All right, this package looks like it came from my antique dealer. My comic vendor. I'm guessing they're old comic books. All right, we've got just some random packaging. And uh, some priority mail. See, normally I don't like the priority mail boxes for a filler if it's an envelope. But if it's in another priority box, that's actually okay. I think that's an all right way to ship them. And inside we have a brick where all the comics are kind of separated from the corner. So that's good. It looks like they scotch taped everything to the middle and then used the packing tape. Uh, one thing I do recommend to comic vendors or people selling comic books, if you're going to make bricks like this, use masking tape just so it's easier to remove and it's cleaner. Because packing tape just leaves such a tape mess. Especially if you're taping the comics to the board like this. Now I have all this scotch tape. Although that's coming off pretty easy. But I prefer masking tape. Just because it's less of a mess. But this scotch tape actually did come off. Alright, never mind. <laughs> scotch tape's alright. Okay, so this looks like it was just a Patsy Walker collection I bought. Or a lot. So a Patsy and Hetty 97. Looks in pretty decent shape. Patsy and Hetty 92. Uh, it's got a few creases, so a little bit lower grade. Number 71, I love record store covers. That one is really cool. These need boards. They're kind of floppy. But yeah, that one's gorgeous. 10 cent cover. I don't know. I think I have a lot of 12 cent Patsy and Hetty's. I don't know if I have too many 10 cent cover ones. So that one is cool. Uh, Patsy and Hetty 108. That one I think I have already. Although this one might be an upgrade because it looks in pretty decent shape. Patsy and Hetty 105. That one looks in pretty decent shape. Number 104 looks like it's in good shape too. Uh, number 99, not too bad. Some spine wear, but relatively good. And number 90. Okay, that's cool. I think I had two of those. The rest I needed for my collection. Really happy with those. Although I'm looking at this one. It looks like someone colored in their hair. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. But it is what it is. Okay, this is a package of four comic books. I just bought these a few weeks ago. Uh, they have really awesome covers. I'm really into this artist. I paid $50 for four comic books. All right, let's open up the package and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what it looks like inside this padded mailer. Uh, it looks like a solid piece of cardboard. It actually might be uh, not a Gemini mailer, but a book mailer of some sort. So that's actually really good. All right, let me open that up. All right, yeah, it's some kind of book mailer. It's like a Gemini mailer, but it seems a little bit more substantial. And we got four comic books inside. All right. All right, and it feels like they put all four in a bigger magazine or Golden Age bag, so that's cool. All right, that pack of job was really good. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have this, I guess the series is called Lola XOXO Wasteland Madam. It's a Dawn Matisse cover. I just saw it was a beautiful cover, and she signed it. So I... On the website, I think these covers go for a little bit more. So I actually got it for a good price. They actually had it at 50 plus shipping. I think I offered 40 plus shipping. So end up being 50. So it was at 12.50 a piece. Oh, there's two. Oh, all right. These are all double bagged, triple bagged. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful artwork. It's gorgeous. Look, I just like the way she put the ink around there. It's also signed by the writer, I guess. So this was a retailer incentive. So these ones are rarer harder to get and i think undervalued very beautiful cover oh apparently these had been graded and they cracked them open for some reason i don't know why you would crack this open i feel like you're throwing money away when you crack it open if you want one out you just buy another one out of the package because these probably would have been 50 to 100 dollars if they were still graded so i'm actually really happy to get that so high grade copy because it was a 9.8 don't know if it's still 9.8 but that's still cool then we have a 9.6 of number two. Another beautiful Dawn Matisse cover. Again, I love the inks and the splash, and it's double signed. That is really cool. Okay, and then this one is also bagged in another bag. So we have number three, double signed, another gorgeous cover. And this one, I think also, yeah, this was a 9.8. <laughs> So I'm getting a 9.8 that's been cracked for the price of just the regular comic, even less than the regular comic. So I'm actually really happy with that. And this was a 9.8 as well. A beautiful, beautiful cover, number four. Also double signed. 
Wow, those are great. I'm really a big fan of Don Matisse artwork. I've I wasn't really collecting until last year, and I think uh, I got one comic book from my friend Alex, and since then I've been kind of wanting to collect more of her stuff, and I'm having fun. Lots of beautiful covers. All right, awesome, awesome package. Okay, this is a package that I got, let's see, last October. It's something I won on the My Comic Shop auction. I paid $357.27. It's a comic book from one of the series that you've seen me collecting in the last few years. It's a really, it's one of my favorite covers from the series. So it's a really cool comic book. It's also the second highest grade. There's only one graded higher than this on the census. So I decided, you know, I'm going to splurge on this one because I just thought it was really cool to get one that's that high grade. So I'm excited to show you. Let's open up the package and show you what's inside. Okay, so this box just is really well packaged. My comic shop knows what they're doing. There's a reason why they're the largest online comic shop, I believe. So you got a piece of cardboard and a bunch of paper. Let me pull this all out and then I'll grab the comic book. They also, they had these on the corner of the comic book. So this is really, really good packaging. And then they had like a slab mailer inside all of that. So yeah, really good shipping. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. Let me, yeah, we can see. Okay, so we have Patsy Walker number six in at 8.0. 8.0, you just do not, there's only, I think this is the second highest graded. Let me move this up just a little bit so you can see. I think there's a 9.2 on the census and then everything else is less. But I absolutely love this cover. This is one of my favorite Patsy Walker covers. I love just transportation covers like this. This is a gorgeous cover. Gorgeous comic book. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So I'm going to have to try to find a lower grade copy just to have so I can actually look at it. But I'm thrilled to have this as my number six just to have such a high grade copy. Beautiful. Okay, this package, I think I paid about $100. It's five sketchbooks from the artist Omar Dogan. And I just, I love his artwork. It's really fun, like anime inspired artwork. And I decided I wanted the sketchbooks because I thought they were cool. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so I think this was inside another box because I don't have the outer box anymore. I must have opened it up, took a quick look, and then put it back. But it is a Gemini style mailer, so that's good. And then we have these sketchbooks, which are awesome. Oh, and then a sticker. Oh, no, this is Warren Lau. Okay, wrong person. I thought it was Omar Dogan. This is actually Warren Lau. I have an Omar Dogan box somewhere else. Okay, wrong artist, but I like Warren Lau as well. He does kind of cutesy stuff. Uh, okay, let's dig through the sketchbooks. So these, I think, were probably $20, $25 each. And each one is signed, which is good. So we have Blend Sketchbook number two, signed on the cover. Let's see how nice the printing. Yeah, so these are all sketches that you'd see on his Instagram, I believe. Very cute stuff, though. Very cute. Love this stuff. Yeah, these are really nice. I love buying sketchbooks and things like this from artists because I just feel like you get a whole bunch of art to look at for a relatively cheap price. I mean, 20 25 is a little bit high because it's kind of thin. But oh, these are all covers he did. Oh, that is really neat. That's cool. I'm not going to go through all of them. He's got to keep it a little bit of a mystery. But if you want to get his books, you can get them. Just follow him on Instagram. I think he has links to his shop. Those are really like, those are adorable. Okay, this package is cool. I got this package last November. The Golden Age Guru was having a claim sale on his Instagram. And I was following him. I was like, yeah, let me watch it. See if they put anything up. And I think I bought two things from Ross that he put out for sale. Uh, good prices and things I thought were really cool. All right, let me open up this package and show you what's inside. Okay, so the first comic book I got from them was a Marvel Tales number one. The first appearance of Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Ham. I love Spider-Ham. It's in decent shape. It's got a little bit of staining or ink smear right there. I don't really see any creases, so it's probably very fine. Plus, there's some very light, light spine ticks. So I was really happy with that. They uh, they wanted 50 bucks. I would jump on that for 50 bucks. I love Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider-Ham. His first appearance, very underrated key issue. So that was awesome. And then I bought this Kickstarter graphic novel called Small World. 
Uh, I don't know anything about it other than Peach Momoko did the cover. I love Peach Momoko. Uh, it's a really, really, really cool looking comic book. Got awesome back cover. I believe that's also Peach Momoko. And then inside the artwork, it's not Peach Momoko, but it's still very beautiful artwork. It's a cool splash page. So all the, I guess it's Toro Tirada. Not 100% sure, but I love cool graphic novels like this. Just the gorgeous, gorgeous artwork inside. I thought this was so cool. So for 50 bucks, I'm thrilled to have this. I'll probably end up reading it because it looks so neat. And I don't read as much as I would like to. And I like comic books that sometimes just very graphic heavy, very light on the text. So it's just a quick breeze of a read and you can just enjoy the artwork. This is gorgeous. So happy to have that. Such a cool book for 50 bucks. Definitely worth it. All right, this is a package I got last June. <laughs> it's one comic book I paid $21 for. I got it off of Macari. As you know, I'm always promoting my Macari link. But if you do sign up, you get $10 off your first purchase of $20. I also get some credit, and that's what this was. I bought this with some of my Macari credit. All right, let's open up this package and check out what's inside. Okay, so this one is like a Gemini mailer. Yep, Gemini. So that's good. Uh, okay, comic is bubble wrap inside. So we got Gemini Mailer, bubble wrap, and then in a bag and board. That's cool. And it's a Mylar. So Mylar is always fun because they're they're just crystal clear. They look nice. So we have Walt Disney's Donald Duck number 50. Uh, I don't know if $20 is a great price on this or anything, but I just saw I really like the striking red color. And it looks decent. It has some spine ticks. So it's not near mint or anything. But the rest of the shoe maybe is a little bit of a piece there. But overall, it looks really nice. Really fun cover. I love a good strong red cover from the Golden Age. All right, that's awesome. All right, this is a comic book I bought last July. It's one comic book. I paid $22.99. All right, let's open up and see what's inside. All right, this is a, a brick of cardboard inside the bubble envelope. Hopefully it arrived okay. Does look like it's got dinged in the comics, like coming out a little bit. And it looks like a little bit of a crease on top there. So I think we'll be... Uh, I think it's all right. So we have Patsy Walker number 55. Uh, it's a little bit more beat up than I remember. And it's got a little bit of a stain there. But that's okay. It's kind of hard to find Patsy Walker from that era. And $22 for an issue that's probably like a 3.5 is not that bad. So I'm happy with that. All right, awesome. Okay, this package is from last April. I misplaced it and I thought I never got it. I was a little bit upset about that because I got some cool comic books. They were relatively cheap for what they were worth. And I had a hard time finding them again. I bought a couple of them again. But I was so happy when I found this package. I just misplaced it. So it's 18 comic books. I paid $54.46. Uh, I believe I bought this from Comic Collector Live. All right, let's open this package and see what's inside. Okay, so let me go through the stack. Okay, so we have a uh, Wonder Woman 761. I think that's a Joshua Middleton cover. Gorgeous cover. Uh, Wonder Woman 59, Jenny Friesen cover. Love her artwork. Uh, Wonder Woman 82, another Jenny Friesen cover. Love her artwork. Wonder Woman 763. I think that's a Joshua Middleton cover. Gorgeous cover. Uh, Miss Marvel number one variant. Love Miss Marvel. A Wonder Woman 762 Joshua Middleton variant. That's a gorgeous cover. Uh, Eternals. Not sure of the number, but I love the... Uh, was it M Mucha? Mucha? The Italian artist, the Art Deco artist from the 20s. It's kind of an homage to that artist. Very cool cover. Uh, Eternals number 506. So I was buying some of these back in... Uh, I guess it was last April. Just in case the movie is good. The movie was okay, so I don't think these just didn't go up in value. Eternals number two, but again, I was paying like a dollar or two, so not the end of the world. Uh, Batgirl number 34, I think that's a Joshua Middleton cover. Batgirl number 30, Joshua Middleton cover, love those. Batgirl number 29, also his cover. A uh, Batgirl number 27, Joshua Middleton cover. Batgirl 26, Joshua Middleton cover. These ones I think I was able to replace. Batgirl number 25, so these will be duplicates. And then these are the ones I just couldn't find. The We Live number 2, the value of these are going up. So I was happy to find this package. And We Live number 3, 
and we live number four which at 250 each that was a great price on those so really happy i have those very cool comics okay on to the next all right this comic book i bought last july i paid 76 dollars. it's one comic book let's open up and see what's inside okay. we got more cardboard in a bubble envelope my favorite let's see uh i must have opened this one. Oh, you know what this one was a little shocking to me because I bought another Patsy Walker number nine. I just, the last video I picked out one of these, I was saying how I don't see these too often and somehow I bought two of them in, I, it was a few months in between each purchase, but I think I forgot, or maybe the second one I bought was the one with, I also think I jumped on that other one because it was an error, but also I think the other one was in higher grade. This one is in pretty decent shape though, just it's more tanned. I'll take a look at it take the tape off i hate tape on comic bags take a look at this one this one was more expensive so this one doesn't look as glossy and the back is yellowed a little bit but i don't see any big creases or anything there's maybe a little bit of rust migration on that staple interiors are slightly off-white so I think this is a slightly lower grade than the other one I got, but still a nice looking copy. I wanted to pull out the one I got last video. As you can see, the red is stronger and the whites are whiter. Uh, I was a little concerned of how she was cropped there to see if it was trimmed. So I just want to see if this looks like it's the same size. Yeah, they look like they're the same dimension. So that takes away my concern that this one was trimmed. Okay. That is cool, but that shows you just, you can't, until you see them together like that, you wouldn't even notice the difference in that red just in the auction listing. And just the, how much whiter the right one is. Oh, on the back cover, you definitely can see how much whiter it is. That's cool. I think for now, I'm just going to keep these because one of, like this nicer one might be worth slabbing. And then just having a nice one, but not as nice just for reading and checking out. Very cool. Okay, I bought this last July. <laughs> like I said, there's gonna be a lot of older packages in this video. Uh, I paid $35.10 for one comic book. All right, let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, so this looks like cardboard in there, just randomly cut and not big enough to cover the comic book. Not the best shipping job. I don't know why it's popular to ship comic books like this. Like if you're gonna use cardboard, have it bigger than the comic book. Use masking tape. Tape it to the board so it doesn't slide so the corners are not exposed. So if the corner does get crushed, it doesn't hit the comic book. And, uh, or just put it in a box. Skinny boxes are not that expensive. Okay, let's see what we got, though. We got, uh, oh, this is cool. Wilbur number 36. It's, uh, it looks in decent shape. It's just kind of yellow. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's the bag. I think the comic itself is yellow maybe it's the bag let's see what it's uh yeah it's a bit yellowed but it's not terrible slight amount of gloss it looks like it has a little bit of dirt right there but relatively nice shape i don't see any major tears or creases or anything that's actually really awesome interior looks really nice too now i'm trying to collect the full run of wilbur too because each issue does have katie keen in the back so we have you know, a little katie keen story so she's on like three or four pages and this is the series that she first appeared in. So I would like to complete this series as well as my Katie Keens. All right, very happy with that. This package was from last July. I paid $36.36 for four comic books. All right, let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, so this, this feels like a cardboard brick within a bubble envelope. So we'll see how well it looks. Uh, the corners looked really dinged up. And this piece of cardboard does not cover the edges. Uh, the boards look like they got a little bit dinged, but I think we'll be okay. Just not the best packaging job. Oh, that's cool though. So we got Sea Devils number 35. I think these ones I bought individually and I just grabbed anything I thought looked cool. I think there's one comic book I wanted and then the other ones I just added to the thing. You know why? Because sometimes it's nice to add a few more to save on the shipping cost. If you can add more comic books with no more additional shipping, it's good. So that cover is gorgeous. Love that cover. Uh, okay, so this is why I bought the comic book. I was looking for this issue. This is the 
Uh, what is it? Avengers Out of Time number one. This is the first appearance of the Cloud at the end of time and Ravona, I believe. During the Loki show, I was like, oh, I got to get the first appearance because I love the show so much. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear, so it's probably like a very fine minus. It is a newsstand, though, I believe. That is cool. You know what's funny, too? I found two of these in my cheap comic boxes as well. So I already had it. And then I grabbed uh, Xena Warrior Princess number two, Jenny Friesen cover. I'll grab any cover that she's done. Love her artwork. And Xena number three that she also did the cover of. So those are really cool. Really happy. So it's fun. So I basically, I think I paid like 20 for that. And then these were like really cheap. A couple bucks each, maybe five bucks. Fun lot. Right, this package I bought last June is nine comics that I paid $29 for. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. It's a cardboard brick in a manila envelope and they shipped it medium mail. I'm not, you know, I'd rather pay slightly more for priority just because it's uh, medium mail is not that good for comic books. It beats it up and I don't think you're supposed to send it medium mail. And they used, uh, oh, they just used a cardboard priority envelope. They didn't even use cardboard in the interior. So hopefully the comic books are right because there is some bubble wrap on it. So it's probably okay, but I give this like a C, C minus in the packaging job. <laughs> okay. Corners don't look like they got dings. So I guess we're all right. As long as it arrives safe, I'm okay. I just feel like this packaging job like this makes it more likely to get damaged. But the bubble wrap is good. Okay, this is cool. We have some old Charlton Bronze Age horror stuff. The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, 35. I do like the old Charlton stuff like that. That Oh, the two comics per bag. Okay, and then we have the Ghost Manor, number 57. I do want to put all these old Bronze Age horror sets together. Uh, Patsy and Hetty, number 86. In pretty decent looking shape. I love the coloring on that one. Uh, Thunderbolt. I don't see the number, but that's cool. Then we got the Phantom Gold Key comic book. That's a cool cover. And then we have Dr. Solar Man of the Atom. It's got some chipping right there, but it's not too bad. I like the Gold Key stuff that went into Valiant. I like collecting those. Uh, Lois Lane 73. I do want to put this run together. Pretty cool. And then Thunder Agents number six. Big thick issue. And then uh, Magnus Robot Fighter. I I think these are the reprints when they get the 30 cent covers. Really cool though. I want to put that set together as well. All right, that was a fun mixed lot of different things I'm collecting, but I probably did find it by finding the Patsy Walker comic book because those I'm more actively putting together. But if I can find a lot with the other stuff that I want mixed in, I'm happy with that. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome lot. All right, this is a package I bought last June. It's one comic book. I paid $57.40. All right, let's open it up to see what's inside. This is a, looks like a bunch of priority mail cardboard in the envelope. I think we're okay. Not the biggest fan of priority mail cardboard as stiffener, but they used uh, five or six layers. So just from the quantity, that makes it better. When you use just one on each side, these are very flimsy cardboard. Okay, let me figure out how to open this. And then they tape the comic book to the cardboard. That is pretty good, actually. This comic book is awesome, though. That's what I'm reacting to. <laughs> Talk about the packaging job. I'm getting excited for the comic book, so I'm making it like, the packaging job is the best thing I've ever seen. But no, I mean, the cover is cool. Okay, check that out. So we have Susie number 77. Beautiful cover. I really enjoy the graphic design on the Susie covers with the circle. There's just something about it that's really appealing to me. Actually, this one I kind of want to look at inside. And I like that on the bag, they used masking tape to seal it. That makes it a little bit easier to deal with. And even if the tape gets on your cover, it's going to be a little bit safer. Uh, the condition is decent on this. No major tears or rips. The spine's a little bit creased up. But, you know, I think this is like a four, four, five, maybe. That's actually a really nice looking copy. I love it. Even where the person signed their name is in like a nice placement and the date. That's, that's kind of fun. Susie, interior is a bit browned. Not terrible. But not, uh, it's still very appealing. Just flipping through it. Yeah, it looks really nice. Cool comic book. Really happy with that. I want to get more Susie's this year.
Okay, we have another package from June. I'm having fun going through these because I kind of forgot what's in a lot of them. So this has been a ton of fun. This was five comic books I paid $20 for. I think this is a Macari order. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, okay, I have no idea what's in here. It's a book mailer of some sort, like a Gemini. I don't know if it is a Gemini, but similar. Uh, thank you for your purchase. These are taped to the box. Again, they used masking tape. Masking tape is good. Masking tape is much better than other tapes just because it's, you can either tear it really easily, just like that, or you can peel it off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so looks like it's a stack of Wonder Woman covers. I love the Jenny Freeze and Wonder Woman covers. I love all her artwork. Move that over a little bit. So any cover she does is fantastic. So Wonder Woman 752. Uh not sure the artist on this one, but it's a nice cover. Wonder Woman 756. Uh Wonder Woman 757. Not sure the artist, but it's a nice cover. A uh, Wonder Woman 83, another Jenny Friesen cover. Love that one. And Wonder Woman 81, another Jenny Friesen cover. Those are beautiful. Really happy with those. Those are cool comics. Okay, this is a package I bought last August. I paid $19.84 for five comic books. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so this one looks like it's another comic mailer. So this is good. These are really good for shipping comic books. I'm happy to see a mailer like this when people ship to me. All right. And it's a Gemini. Okay. All right. Let's pull those out. So they put all the comic books in a magazine or bigger bag. I do kind of like when comics are in a bigger bag just to kind of hold them together. Then you can open it up and... Uh, all right. Let's see how this is taped. They taped it like crazy. But they use masking tape. Easy to open. All right, really good packaging job. Happy with that. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, so we have a Harley Quinn Black Label Book 1. Cool cover. Uh, Peach Momoko Teen Titans 46 cover. Love that one. That's probably why I bought this lot. I love collecting Peach Momoko artwork. Uh, Josh Middleton Wonder Woman. That's a, probably a duplicate, I think. Uh, Wonder Woman 762... That's a pretty cool cover. And Wonder Woman 763. So those are cool. I mean, these are fun to have, but the Peach Momoko is really why I bought that lot. All right, awesome comic books. Ah, uh, okay, so this is a slab I paid $340 for. This is one of my top wants from last year. I bought it from David, who has the YouTube channel Comic Book Investments. I bought it from his website, collectorscomics.com. It was for a decent price. He had one that was a slightly higher grade for, I think, like $100 more. But I decided I was happy enough with this one at $340. All right, let me open this box and show you what's inside. So this was packaged very well. Okay, so we have a Teen Titans number one in a 7.5 CBCS slab copy. You guys know I've been trying to work on my Teen Titans run for the last couple of years. So I figured it was time to try to find a number one in decent shape. This is in very decent shape and the price was pretty decent. And uh, I'm just really happy to have it. I might have to track down another lower grade one just so I can actually read it and check it out. But I'm just really happy to have this one. I love Nick Cardi artwork and I want to put this whole run together. This just puts me that much closer because, you know, having number one knocks out most of the cost of putting a full run together. So that is super awesome. Super happy with that. I think the other one they had was a eight five maybe for one or two hundred dollars more, but seven point five is a very nice grade. You know, it has just a few, like that corner is a little bit dinged up and it's a little bit yellowed right there. But other than that, it looks really nice for this era. Something from nineteen sixty six. This looks really nice. This is a nice enough grade for me that I'm happy to have this in my collection because I'm not buying it hoping it'll be worth a lot more in the future. I'm sure it will be worth more in the future, but I'm not investing. I just want to have a copy that's nice enough that I can really enjoy the artwork and the cover without it looking terrible. And this looks beautiful. I love that. That is awesome. Oh, and some people were like, oh, well, why don't you crack out of the slab? I don't like to do that either because I feel like I'm throwing value away because you do have to spend whatever it is, 30 bucks to grade a $300 comic book. And if I do need to sell it in the future for any emergency or whatever, uh, it's easier to sell slabs. So I don't break stuff out of slabs, but I do like having comics out of the slab. So I might buy both 
But if I do buy a slab comic book, I'm just going to leave it slabbed. Because there's no reason to waste the value of cracking it out when I can just go and buy another one if I really need it. Okay, really happy with that. Okay, and then this is just a random bag of comics I bought out of a dollar bin. Nothing too exciting, but I figure you guys probably enjoy it. All right, let me go through this bag and show you what's in it. Okay, I forget where I bought these. I don't know if I bought them at the flea market or from a comic shop because I don't recognize the bag. It's just like a random generic bag. I don't know where I would have got that from. Uh, but let's go through it. I think I paid a dollar each. This looks like something I would have pulled out of a dollar bin. We have Powers 26, Powers 28, Powers 27. All right. Uh, Atomic Kafka number three. Cool looking. Uh, I think it's an Ashley Wood cover. I think. Beautiful cover. I love that cover. Uh, Smoke and Aces. Just a promotional cover. I actually, I grabbed this because I used to play Second Life back in the day. And they had a big event for Smoking Aces. And I had so much fun at that event. I think I won like $1,000 playing that event. And uh, just, so it was it was a great time. So I figured I'd just grab the comic book. Uh, Wicked and Divine number 26. Low number 16. Cool cover. Conan number 4. Elephant Man, uh, not sure the number, but that's a cool cover. I like that comic. The Rebels number three. This is a fun older uh, indie comic book. I like that kind of stuff. Irredeemable number 23. Conan 28. Doctor Sleepless, a cool black and white cover. I like that one. The Wicked and the Divine 27. I like that cover. Uh, Thieve of Thieves number 32. Icarus, number two, another fun indie comic book. I thought that had a cool cover. Diva Thieves, number four. Mystic, 42. Conan, number 26. And Conan, number 27. I don't remember buying these at all. <laughs> so it's a random mix. All right, that was a ton of fun. Hopefully, I do another comic book video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.